this is Victoria Chang and I'm a poet and I've written four books of poetry of which the most recent is Barbie Chang by Copper Canyon Press and I think it's important to teach living poets because you know children seem to lose interest in poetry at some point and I think teaching living poets can uh, kind of regen regenerate that interest. In Hi I'm Chloe Ann Clark I'm the author of The Science of Unvanishing Objects. First of all canonically we've focused on majority representation, so white, male, heteronormative. So teaching living poets allows us to expand beyond the canonical representation to ones that incorporate other lived experiences and viewpoints and voices. Hello, my name is Kyle Dargan. I'm uh, fortunate enough to be the author of five books, uh, most recently Anagnoresis. When you teach living poets who are writing in the same time that we are all living, there's a better likelihood that someone will see something of themselves uh, in the work that they're reading. And I think that's always the first place you should start. Once you can get people invested in work where they can see their own experience validated, reflected, then they'll be willing to go with you other places. I'm Nicole Tong, and I'm the author of two collections, My Mind, A Chapbook of Poems, and How to Prove a Theory. I teach living poets because what better way to convince students that their voices matter than to show them voices like their own reflected in the literature they're reading. My name is Courtney Lamar Charleston. I am the uh, author of Telepathologies, as well as a 2017 Ruth Lilly and Dorothy Sargent Rosenberg Fellow at the Poetry Foundation. And I believe teaching living poets is paramount because it aids students in discovering their own voices and empowers them to use their voices to engage the world around them. I'm Ross White. I'm the author of How We Came Upon the Colony and The Polite Society. I'm also a faculty member at the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, and I believe in teaching living poets. So when kids only have the chance to read authors who died centuries ago, they don't necessarily have a strong sense that they're welcome in that conversation or that anybody's going to be listening to them. But the fact of the matter is, poetry is so lively today. Plus, it's certainly awesome every time you can get a poet to come to the classroom to teach living poets. Hi, I'm Maggie Smith, and I'm a living poet. My books include Good Bones, The Well Speaks of Its Own Poison, Lamp of the Body. I primarily teach living poets, and it's because I think students are more excited about and invested in work that they can relate to and that they can see their own experiences and culture and emotions reflected in. Hi, I'm Hanif Abdurraqib. I'm the author of the poetry collection, The Crown Ain't Worth Much, and the essay collection, They Can't Kill Us Until They Kill Us. And I believe in teaching living poets because it reshapes the canon and it reforms young people's minds around what poetry can look like and what contemporary poetry is doing to speak to not just our political moments, but our pop cultural moments as well. Hi everyone. My name is Safia al -Hilo. Um I'm the author of a book of poems called The January Children. And I think it is important to teach living poets. The authors so often for me when I was growing up felt like such an abstraction, felt like just a name on a book. So teaching living poets uh, I think could change that abstraction a little bit because, you know, we're right here. We're, you can tweet at us, you can email us, whatever, and we are real people. Thank you for teaching Living Poets. Hey, it's Jericho. I just wanted to stop by and say I really appreciate y'all. When I was a very young person, reading poetry changed my life. It showed me worlds that I did not know existed, and it helped me understand the world I was living in. Uh, and I hope that poetry does that same thing for you. I hope that reading can indeed change your life. This is Jose Olivares. I just wanted to give a shout out to everyone uh, who is teaching living poets. I think it's incredibly important. When I was a teenager in high school, I was blessed to meet living poets. It completely changed what felt possible for me. It made me feel like poetry was a living, breathing art form, and it is. So hopefully you are able to convey that gift to your students. I appreciate y'all very much. Um, my name is Kava Akbar. I'm so excited about your guys' inquiry into poetry, that you guys are exploring poetry and you guys are exploring living poets. There's a lot 
um, of really, really interesting, important stuff being said by us uh, living poets. And it's exciting to me that you guys are all going to be exploring that. Um, I wish you the best of luck. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Acevedo. I am the author of The Poet X, and I want to encourage you to teach living poets. I think there are so many poets alive right now who are creating the most rigorous, challenging, thoughtful work that, that we've seen in a long time, who are, are really speaking to this current moment and creating the kind of work that I think young people and our students can connect to. I know as a former English teacher how difficult it can be to bring a text into the class that I don't have an analysis for, that I'm unclear exactly on how to teach, that was not taught to me, right? And how scary it can be to bring that work in when you are figuring it out alongside your students. And so I, I really want to encourage you all to be brave, to be brave teachers, to be brave readers, and to instill you know, those skills in your students. Thank you.